at old Stellar Bay. Only place on the planet that don't stink of sulfur. On account of it stinking like fish instead. You ready? Here they go. Feels like the old bits outside of Edgewater. Used up, unneeded, left to settle into ruin. Don't bother knocking on any doors. If anyone's inside, they're liable to respond with gunfire. We can handle this. you so much. It was getting all stuffy in there, and I was getting a mite lightheaded, and I think maybe I was gonna die. Now I'm out here, and I'm headed back to Amber Heights. Still landing yourself in trouble, eh, Hux? Oh, hi, Mioka. Um, you mind giving me an escort back home? I'm... Oh, you're traveling with someone. Never mind. Oh, sure, I'm a runner. I'm used to getting all dizzy and... <laughs> hey, who is your identical, slightly blurry friend? But I ain't got nothing on me. How's about a heaping helping of appreciation and respect? Can do. Thanks a lot, mister.
that will shoot you or eat you. Or both. I wonder who used to live here. Do you suppose anyone remembers anyone? Ammo in your berth might combust. What? Wait, that's... It can do that? All it takes is a little bit of black powder next to a lot of bits of fertilizer and one real hot day and... something. Well, I see you've had a sobering effect on our friend Nioka. Sir, please stop. Forgive me, Celia. I couldn't help myself. Anyway, what can I do for you? You weren't supposed to look. I asked you to delete it. I didn't mean for any harm to come to you. This has been my albatross. The great shame of my career. I give MSI everything. My work, my youth, my left kidney, and for years, I was a joke to them. Ugh, one of the executives required a transplant. I thought volunteering to donate might improve my prospects. Apparently not. In charge of a scrap heap of a city. Abandoned by the board and surviving only through the hypocrisy of our trading partners. I hadn't thought of it that way. But perhaps there's something to that. Thank you for that. Or was there something else? Oh, yes. I'm going to be up all night with this. All those blanks waiting to be filled, boxes waiting to be ticked. Try to control yourself, sir. Have you any idea how powerful this is? Corporations have been toppled with less. But that's exactly what this is. The world isn't changed with guns and speeches, much as Graham and his followers would like to think, but rather with meticulous documentation. And the bill of liquidation slash transfer form 52 is one of the most formidable pieces of data entry in all of Halcyon. One false stroke can invalidate the entire document. It's true. One of the old execs gave herself a stroke trying to fill out the exemption section. Your concern is most touching, but not to worry. I've been preparing years for this. For our part, a bill of liquidation slash transfer form 52 will protect our holdings on Monarch by temporarily assigning them to a pass-through entity once we drop our bomb on the board. Sort of. Really, we're just going to blackmail them into offering us a seat at the table. But really, whatever gets you excited about the idea, it's definitely a firm middle finger. That's what I like to hear. I have reason to believe that one of the other corporations is operating on Monarch. Illegally and in secret. Those bastards. Leave us to our perils, then come back just to reap what they can. If we can find proof, I can use that as leverage to... encourage certain powers that be to accept our Bolt 52 and reinstate us on the board. You really think so? I admit I've been hatching this scheme for quite some time. I just needed someone capable to help me carry it out. If someone is operating here, then Catherine's almost certainly supplying them out of Fallbrook. Perhaps she could be convinced to tell you where they are. Oh, I imagine you do. But as much as I love your can-do attitude and dangerous gravitas, Catherine handles all of our shipments. So it would be best if you could leave her in one piece. Is that how you people put it? Once you, uh, subtly work out where this corporate facility might be, bring back proof of its operation. Maybe some nice letterhead. Or someone working there. That would do it. 
I knew you were the right person for the job. I suppose I'll leave you to it. but my gun's been acting funny. Used to be, I had to correct for a bit of leftward drag. Thank you, again, for retrieving the bolt. It's every bit as complex as I'd heard, but I'm up to the challenge. Anyway, what can I do for you? Excellent timing on your part. I worked my fingers to nubs, but I finally completed the Bolt 52 form. I dare say it will be my second greatest achievement after the reformations. You're getting ahead of yourself again. So I am. Do you have this cartridge? 
there was something going on. This is exactly the proof we need. The board will have to welcome us back now. I'll transmit this data along with the completed Bolt 52 right away. After that, we'll sit back and quietly wait for the board to respond. That means no more broadcasts from us. that? It's the blessed sound of radio silence, which leads me to believe you have sweet, sweet news for me. Yes, indeed. I am back in business. But before we get down to it, might I ask how you handled the problem? In the end? We did what we could, as best we could. Should probably leave it at that. Hmm, is that so? I don't know how. The two are diametrically opposed and impossible to please. But it matters not how you fix my problem, only that you did. I don't doubt that you are working with Phineas, but my contract specifies I relay any acquired information to the purchaser, and to the purchaser alone. However, to send the data, I will need your assistance in cycling the antenna's receiver so I can input the needed adjustments. It's simple, truly. I merely need you to waltz outside and throw the lever to cycle the power. I'll key in the numerical adjustments from in here. Terrific. I'll be here, waiting with bated breath. Give a shout if the panel electrocutes you. He told us to leave without flinging insults at our persons. He really does like you, Captain. What in the void blasted hell is that? Through the stratosphere. We need only collect its weapons. Are you mad? 
That's a UDL gunship. You'd probably shoot your own toes off. Par for the course, really. You should do like I did. Get out while you still retain a shred of sanity. We could use the gunship's armaments to defend Stellar Bay, but we need its targeting module. Our message is so close to breaking free of this planet and spreading to the stars. Help us secure that module and we will save our colony. Listen, I don't care a single whit what you do so long as you leave me out of it. Which means, get off my void damn channel! I'm more than finished with you lot. Hiram's home. Just kidding. The guy never gets put outside.